Hi, I'm Alessia Cora, and today I'll be doing the Wired Autocomplete interview. I think I searched this. <laughs> this is probably me looking for answers. If anyone knows, hit me up. Was Alessia Cara? Was Alessia Cara in Moana? Technically, I was not. I did the end credits song, but a lot of people, especially kids, when I meet them, they think that I played Moana, which is a very uh, rough conversation I have to have. <laughs> be like, well, it wasn't me, but thank you. I think the hair makes people think that I, I played Moana, but I did not. It was played by Auli E. Corvalo, who's amazing. Um, I just sang the song. Was Alessia Cara on American Idol? I was not. I'd be too scared to do something like that. I'm also Canadian, so that probably wouldn't even work anyway. <laughs> was Alessia Cara on The Voice? No, I was not. I don't know why that's like a, a commonly asked thing. I, I was never on any singing shows or anything. What team would you be on if like everyone turned around their chair? That's tough. I love I love Kelly Clarkson. I think she's so good. And Gwen, they're both amazing. Maybe Gwen. Does Alessia Cara? Does Alessia Cara sing "How Far I'll Go"? Yes. Um, I sing the the end credits version of "How Far I'll Go" from Moana. Does Alessia Cara have siblings? Yes. I have a younger brother, um, who is twenty years old now. So he's not very young anymore. Well, he's still young, but he's not little anymore. I'm definitely a protectable sister, yeah. I mean, I always was, but I feel like now that I'm an adult and not a kid, um, I'm, like, more conscious of, like, the world, and I, I find that I'm, like, becoming more of a worrier, which is weird, because I never used to be that way. I was always protective, but now I, like, worry all the time. But he's like, you know, leave me alone, get off my back. He's, he's smarter than I am, so I think he should be more worried about me. <laughs> Does Alessia Carr have tattoos? I have uh, this little sailboat. I have this smiley face that is pretty much gone. I have to get that like touched up. And I have this um, band-aid on the back of my arm. That's way too big. But that's, <laughs> that's the beauty of decisions on a whim. Does Alessia Carr speak other languages? I speak Italian because my family is, is from there. And I, I'm trying to learn Spanish. And I know like a few sentences in Japanese, but that doesn't count, obviously. But I would love to learn. Does Alessia Carr write her own music? Yes, I do. Um, the first album that I ever put out, um, I made with Sebastian Cole, who's phenomenal. But then the second album and everything after that as well, um, I've, I've written completely by myself, which is something that I take a lot of pride in, because I've always wanted to be a songwriter and, and good at what I do, and um, I feel like I've not mastered it, but I'm, I'm getting to a place where I, I think I'm good at it, and that makes me really happy. So. I hope to continue writing everything uh, myself in the future too. It's kind of hard to write when you're in quarantine because there's like a lack of experiences to write about. My life is sort of stagnant right now in every aspect, but um, it's fun because I get to pull from my imagination more. Who, Alessia Cara? Who is Alessia Cara married to? I think I searched this. <laughs> this is probably me looking for answers. If anyone knows, Hit me up. That'd be great to, to know in advance. I've never even been in like a public relationship, really, so it's it's kind of funny that people associate me with, with marriage, but who knows? We'll see. Who discovered Alessia Cara? The first person to discover me was Corinne Perez. I always wanted to be a singer, and I think I'd always hoped to be discovered in some way far in the future, but when I was posting YouTube videos, I didn't think I was going to be discovered from there. That was just my way of like getting used to singing in front of people or for like some sort of audience, but... I never thought I'd get discovered off of that, though, at all. Who is Alessia Cara? I don't know. Alessia Cara is just a, a person who makes music and writes music, and uh, I think I'm realizing that I'm multiple things in one, and that's, like, what people are. You know, they're not just one thing. They're, like, there's, like, so many facets to us. How Alessia Cara. How Alessia Cara became famous. Again, Corinne Perez found a YouTube video of mine um, where I was covering this song called Sweater Weather by The Neighborhood. From there, I started making a bunch of songs with someone named Sebastian Cole, who's amazing, and um, these two brothers from Toronto, who are a producer duo named Kuya Productions. And we just got in this little tiny studio, and every day after school, I would go in and write a bunch of music. One of those songs was a song called Here, that I later released after being signed to Def Jam um, on SoundCloud. And then it was one of those things that just kind of grew naturally. It took a while for it to get on the radio, but then once it did, people started knowing about that song and knowing my name, and then that's how everything sort of grew from there. I don't call myself famous. I don't like to say that. I just say I do this for a living. How Alessia Cara was discovered off of my YouTube covers. How tall is Alessia Cara? I am, I believe, either 5'1 or 5'2. Everybody is like shocked 
to see how short I am. I don't know why. People just expect me to be a lot bigger, but I'm tiny. I feel like I'm the kid who should be meeting them. <laughs> it's so funny. But One time I met Kim Kardashian, and I expected her to be so tall, and she was shorter than me. I think she was the first person I met, first celebrity I met, that was shorter than me, um, which was kind of shocking. She was wearing heels, too. I'm like, whoa, you're really tiny. Where Alessia Cara? Where was Alessia Cara born? I was born in a place or a city called Mississauga, Ontario, which is in Canada. Um, and then when I was four, I moved to Brampton, Ontario, which is where I pretty much grew up. I think Brampton has more of a reputation than Mississauga. Brampton has like, we kind of get the short end of the stick all the time. Like people make fun of Brampton all the time. It's like not particularly cool if you're from there. I think now it's becoming that way, but it's like a, a known thing within Toronto that Brampton is like <laughs> sort of the underdog. Um, it's very easy to, to pick on. We just have like our own weird culture. So yeah. Where does Alessia Cara live now? Wouldn't you like to know? I'm not telling you. <laughs> Where did Alessia Cara go to school? I went to school in Brampton. Uh, it was a, a Catholic school called Cardinal Ambrosic secondary school and we had to wear uh, blazers and khaki pants. It was not fun to wear those things because you're always hot and you had to like, <laughs> if you couldn't even roll up the sleeves, you get in trouble for like wearing it the wrong way. So I have the pants um, that I got like all my friends to sign on the last day. So there's like all these signatures on these ugly khaki pants. And I still have the blazer too with its shoulder pads and all. The girls and boys had to wear the same exact thing. Like there was no different thing like there's no fun like skirts or like little um, I don't know like sweaters or cardigans it was just it was just blazers it was horrible where are Alessia Carr's parents from both my parents are from the south of Italy in this place called Calabria and uh, that's where they met and sometimes I wish that I was born there but I'm also glad to be from Canada too what Alessia Carr what is Alessia Cara doing now? I am just doing what everyone else is doing, just waiting for this whole thing to be over and chilling, living life, and writing a lot. What is Alessia Cara famous for? I guess my music. I hope that's that's what people know me for, my, my songs and the fact that I sing stuff. <laughs> what is Alessia Cara's nationality? This is a funny one because if you go online every day, few times a day actually every single day there's there's a person that discovers that I am Italian and basically white it makes me laugh because they're in, like in shock that I'm like not Latina or something I am pretty racially ambiguous I think that's because my family's from the south of Italy and everyone from the south is like a little bit darker and more olive skinned I got the curls but I'm Italian through and through what is Alessia Cara's social media my Twitter is at Alessia Cara and my Instagram is Alessia's Mindy. Is Alessia Cara is Alessia Cara related to Irene Cara? I am not. She is a a singer from a little bit before my time. I believe it was like either maybe eighties or nineties. I'm not exactly sure, but she she's a singer songwriter, and people always think that we're related. I, I assume because of our last names, but maybe because we look alike, possibly our hair sometimes. Is Alessia Cara left-handed? No, I am I'm right-handed, except for when I'm playing like mini golf. Then, I, for some reason, I'm left-handed. I don't know why. I didn't even realize I was doing it until someone pointed it out. Is Alessia Cara religious? I used to be a lot more religious than I am now. I think now it's sort of turned into like some sort of like spirituality. I'll just say I believe in God, and uh, I believe in just being a good person. 